Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. <clears throat> we are talking about microbiome support and sleep. And tonight, we I am Holly Agnew. I am your host. Um, I am a, an eating psychology coach, uh, a doTERRA wellness advocate, and an essential oil educator. And tonight, with me, I have with me as a guest, Kim Uretta. She has been teaching natural alternatives to her clients in group classes for 13 years. She has nearly 20 years experience in functional anatomy and therapeutic movement education. Her passion is supporting others on their journey to feeling well and co comfortable in their body is part of her everyday mission. So it's all yours, Kim. Thanks, Holly. So official. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I used to be a colon hydrotherapist and uh, that was my first uh, exposure to natural health and um, being supported and collaborative experience with really, really smart women. And um, so it's at the time I was having a lot of problems with my thyroid and sleep and anxiety and like pretty much everything that can go wrong with a person who's stressed out, like a little rabbit that its hair starts falling out and eventually dies. <laughs> so I uh, when I found relief in, in the alternative, you know, when my doctors had failed me and, um, taken away my power and made me feel small, this was the light at the end of the tunnel for me. Um, so, and then a few years later I was introduced to doTERRA and all the pieces fell into place because it was a, a place that I felt like I could really share from. It was my vehicle for being um, a part of other people's lives and coaching them. So um, this past September, doTERRA came out with a couple new products and um, it really went with my philosophy with supporting people and in, in how they feel well, is if you don't sleep well and you don't poop well, then everything else is awful. <laughs> Those are the two things that really screw people over. So we want to make sure people are regulating their stress resilience and their nervous system. And um, they're able to build a strong immune system from the inside and have that reflect in their, um, in their outer appearance as health, right? So all the, all the best things. So the study that doTERRA did um, was with these three specific products. So there's the, can you see my screen? Okay. So this is actually a, um, I did have the slide deck, but it got messed up. Apparently uh, my friend was editing it and it, I didn't duplicate it. So here is actual the PDF printout. So if you guys would like it, I can share it with you. And it's so beautifully done. So the importance of sleep, uh, restorative sleep aids and cellular cleansing, emotional support, immune boosting, and your memory and metabol met metabolic function. Better sleep can help reduce inflammation which is, you know, the root cause of illness. 55% of our dreaming is processing the emotions of the day. Um, 50 to 70 million people in the U.S. are diagnosed with a sleep disorder. So when we're using doTERRA's system, this, the restful complex, this is the serenity soft gels that we know from doTERRA, but they have reformulated and now it has tart cherry, which what tart cherry does is it naturally helps to regulate and produce more melatonin, which is one of the hormones we need to have that really deep sleep. So this is, this is something I did not know about um, when you're in the REM cycle. Your body actually you has a wash of fluid. So it's like your lymphatic, but I think they call it glymphatic. It's your brain's lymphatic system where it washes over the receptor sites of your brain and cleans off the stress. So if you don't sleep, get to that deep sleep, um, well, let me back up. Throughout the day, your body builds up these little proteins on all of the little receptor sites in your brain. And if that glymphatic fluid doesn't come to wash away all that protein, then the next day you're building upon that extra stress. That's why people are like total jerks when they don't sleep <laughs> and they end up eating more carbs. Um, they're less motivated to work out. They're less productive. Their focus is down and your immune, your immune system goes down. So me personally, what do I, I've experienced 
with this shift from the original Serenity soft gels to the new ones. The old ones worked for me before I was pregnant because I'm um, seven, seven, a little over seven months pregnant right now. And then um, a few months in, nothing touched it. I was waking up at two and three in the morning, couldn't go back to sleep till five. My body gearing up to stay awake for an infant. And um, I'm like, we don't have to do that yet. <laughs> Not ready. So um, it was a godsend in September when um, the new Serenity soft gels came out because now those work like a charm. I'm back to sleeping perfectly. And um, yeah. And then they studied, they made this serenity stick, which includes valerian oil. We've never had that before. So you either rub it on your chest, you can rub it on your forearms, you can rub it on the bottom of your feet. I've been rubbing it on my belly because it helps the baby sleep. So he doesn't kick and keep me awake at night. <laughs> so that's nice. And then uh, you want to use the serenity oil. Let's see, do I have a picture of all three down here? or up, up here, the Serenity, uh, the 15 mil bottle, you want to diffuse that on your nightstand. So for people who have a hard time staying asleep, running the diffuser is going to be really helpful to you because it'll be like continually giving you that medicine that you need. And the stick helps you fall asleep. And the soft gel is helping to balance those brain hormones so that you get that nice wash of lymphatic fluid to relieve your stress for the following day. And when they studied these, they're taking, you know, blood samples and urine samples and everybody's blood pressure over a period of weeks. They had everybody do each step, like just the pills, just the stick, just the oil for a period of time. And it did not have the accumulative effect as when they had them do all three at the same time. And when they did, they noticed that their inflammation markers and in their liver was going down. Their immune system was going up. They could match that with their blood. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, this is the main thing. It turns off the bad genes and turns on the good genes. So if your grandparents and your parents all had diabetes and you're pre-diabetic, it's turning off the markers so that you're not like diabetic, which I think is amazing. Or for Alzheimer's or all those markers that we really don't want to trigger, you know, for autoimmune disorders. So when our body is, our inflammation is low, our immune system is high, we're sleeping well, our brain is getting that nice glymphatic wash, then we're literally turning off the bad genes. And doTERRA has the proof. They are the very first company, to, it's called an epigenetic study of tracking the good and bad genes. So I think that's amazing. Do you guys have questions about that? No, oh, I must be so good at this. <laughs> okay. So, and again, I can send this um, to Holly to share with you guys. Let me go back to them. Okay, so let me go over the adaptive system. So. Most people struggle with sleep and immune system anyway because of stress. So using the adaptive system is going to help build stress resilience in your brain throughout the day. And it helps you to process your feelings in real time. This is really important for everyone, um, especially people who have in the past been medicated and they're looking to get the edge off without having to be medicated. And this is a good choice. And this has been studied um, for children 10 and up. So if you've got grandkids, you know, of course, because they're glued to their screens and now they all have anxiety disorders. <laughs> this is a really good thing to be able to share with your family. So they can use the roller as a rescue and as for anyone, adults as well. So you keep that in your purse, in your backpack, in the car. As long as it's not hot, you don't want it to get hot. And then I take one adaptive in the morning and one adaptive at night. You want to build it up in your system, just like you would a medication, because we're working on balancing our brain chemistry. And then I use the adaptive, the 15 mil in uh, my diffuser in the kitchen. 
So this, this is supporting my family. They don't even know they're getting this medicine because it's just, they're just breathing it in. <laughs> I'm just gassing them. <laughs> Why do I feel so calm? Why do I feel so receptive to a hug? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because. <laughs> okay. You guys have any questions about the adaptive system? It's kind of my forte in mental health. So I make sure I share that with everybody. Very helpful for people going through addictions. So let's talk about the gut. So what the heck is a microbiome? So I've been taking probiotics maybe since I was like 17 years old. So I worked in that colon hydrotherapy clinic. And, you know, of course, that's the main thing. And it helped me so much. I um, I used to have chronic bladder infections. And um, what else did it help me with? It helped me with going to the bathroom because my whole family was constipated. Nobody could process any emotions. We're all plugged up. <laughs> Um, so the probiotics, just, you know, just the basic ones, they helped me in that way. But as science evolves and we're learning more about all the things that our, our gut does and the repercussions from some of the pharmaceuticals that we've all taken, um, like ibuprofen and Tylenol and other prescription over the counter stuff and, um, antibiotics, they have broken down the, casing like our sausage casing of our intestines and when those little joinings you know how i see in the cartoon of the intestine goes like this those little joinings when they get weak and permeable then our toxins or our undigested food will get into our bloodstream so then our little white cell guys are like well who the hell are you and they start saying, okay, now we have to create some, you know, defenses for this. So, so now your undigested food and toxins are being interpreted as invaders, as allergens. So I don't know if you talk to people all of a sudden in their forties, they're allergic to things. They're like, well, I can't have gluten anymore. I can't have dairy anymore. I can't have nuts anymore. I can't have certain fruits anymore. Um, and it's because of that leaky gut situation. So I know for me, I'm a child of the 80s. I took a lot of antibiotics, <laughs> a lot. Did you guys, huh, a lot. <laughs> so that really broke down our sausage casing of our intestinal stuff. And that's why we're seeing over 300 types of autoimmune disorders that they blanket with um, fibromyalgia. So we want, in order to heal our gut and to heal our immune system and to turn off those inflammation markers, we need to heal our sausage casing and put the right bugs in there. So we're not, not only are we taking a good probiotic, we're feeding it prebiotics. So prebiotics is like the fish food to our tropical fish. So if I'm taking a good probiotic and I'm not eating any fiber, then it's like I bought an entire tank full of fancy fish and didn't feed them. It's not going to do jack crap. And then they all die. So doTERRA was like, well, let's, let's engineer this. So in this little capsule, you can see in the picture, um, can you guys still see it? The green? Okay. So they see that little like fluid around the green capsule on the inside, inside that fluid, there's prebiotic fiber and that's the fish food to immediately make sure that our little fishies get fed. And then it's got bacterial phages. Phages are something that we already have inside our body, but as we age, we lose them. They're like little spiders and they go and they clean up the gunk in your intestine so that the good bacteria and the bad bacteria can balance again. So this is the, the first of its kind to have a probiotic that has prebiotic fiber and bacterial phages and the benefit of postbiotic, which is what balances our brain. Because 90% of your serotonin receptors, you know, like part of like you feeling good about yourself lives in your gut, 
which a lot of people don't know that, that part of your brain activity lives in your, in your, in your um, guts there. So in order to keep all that clean, um, we need to have those little bacterial phages to go in there and clean up stuff like, like the anemones and then have good bacteria that's going to hit um, it. Like it's going to make it through your stomach acid. If you just eat the yo-yo, the yogurt crap, you know, what's the, what's the actress that now she's like the yogurt probiotic lady. You know what I'm talking about from holiday, Halloween and freaky Friday and. She's kind of, she's got really big boobs and she's skinny. You know what I'm talking about? Sure, her hair's really short now. Oh, nobody's going to tell me. You know what I'm talking about? She's the yogurt lady. <laughs> that crap doesn't work because your stomach acid kills it. So you're not going to get 7 billion bacteria to your small intestine because it's it's being processed in your stomach acid. So it has to be packaged correctly. And doTERRA has the science team to be able to do that for people. So me personally, um, just having, just like in pregnancy, you know, I've noticed like the, my hormones are changing. I have higher progesterone. And so my digestion wasn't as smooth and my skin didn't look as well. Um, so I started taking this and I'm noticing I have, my moods are more elevated. I can poop normal. There's no like constipated from taking, you know, prenatals with heavy iron in them, which, you know, you always talk about pregnant women with hemorrhoids and constipation. I don't have any of that. My skin looks great. Um, and my clients that I'm sharing it with, they're having similar results. So I want to make sure people know about this. And the biggest thing about mental health is having good gut health. So pairing it with the adaptive system and the being able to sleep properly there's really no necess ne necessity for the average person to be medicated if you can keep these things in balance, right? So I have this listed on my whole antidepressant protocol that is not FDA approved. <laughs> and I'm super excited this is on Zoom and it's private, but I do share it with my clients because I'm a pioneer and I want people to feel well. And I don't, I don't, I'm not a sheep. <laughs> Do you guys have questions about the gut or anything specific? How many a yeah. day? Oh, I take one and I take it in the morning, right away in the morning. I noticed that with hormones. With hor no, not with hormones. So when I get up in the morning, I take my um I take my thyroid in the morning. I take okay. it's not much but I take my thyroid in the morning. It's a quarter, it's a real small increment, but it's, I take that, I take that as soon as my feet hit the ground. Okay, so should yeah. I... yeah, take them at the same time. And then I recommend eating a piece of fruit. Fruit, okay. Cause it'll, it's, we, it's got the prebiotic fiber in there, but I want people to have a good habit of feeding their fish. So add the fiber. <laughs> But don't take it in the afternoon for heaven's sake. I did that at two o'clock and I stayed up till two in the morning. It gives you energy. So the this probiotic is powerful. Make sure you take it first thing in the morning. Any other questions? Kim, I noticed with all the antibiotics I've been on with the pneumonia that um I've I've noticed a difference when when I was taking the PB Restore and when I wasn't. So, are you doubling up on your Meta Power right now? I am, and I'm also doing the PB Restore and the PB um, Plus, the packet thing. Let's see. We've got so they've also got these powdered version it's kind of like a pixie stick the candy sorry somebody was at my door and the dogs are Come on, go ahead go sorry um yeah so i really like that they remarketed these pixie sticks for adults too because originally they're like these are just for kids 
And then I kind of guiltily was eating them. Like I'm, <laughs> you know, like, oh, I took from the kids, but I just buy extra now for me because you're getting extra strands of, of good bacteria that way. And some people like to sprinkle it on their, their strawberries or their cereal or their oatmeal because it's got xylitol. It's a sweetener. Um, but I really like it. So, and it's the kids like it. That's what's important because they need that too. I really think that my, um, mental health was affected by, um, all those probiotics as a kid because it changed my brain chemistry and I, um, depression hit me pretty hard around 10. Um, and then that was completely undiagnosed, you know, it's just the era that we lived in. <laughs> so now at least I know what that looks like and I can recognize it if that were to happen with my kids. Um, let's go yeah, to- Didn't they say that the two products have different strains in them so yeah, that they, it's okay to take both of them at the same time or, you know, both of them in a day? Yeah, they recommend that if you have a diagnosis or like a chronic issue going on in your gut, then you should be taking both. And I can tell when I'm having like sugar cravings during the day, if I do the pixie stick one, um, it takes away my cravings. So, um, you know, so I'm not grabbing stuff that I don't want. I, st I upped my, um, my MetaPower capsules. Let's see, do I have a picture of it here? No, I don't. But MetaPower, can you guys see my screen still or is it st stuck on the other one? Is it on MetaPower? Yeah, okay. Sometimes it gets stuck. So when we were talking about our sausage casings for our intestines and how they get little rips in them, and then that's when the undigested food and gunk gets into our bloodstream, how we can support fixing the sausage casing so that it, nothing gets out of it anymore is rebuilding it using the marine collagen. So I used to take the kind from Costco just the regular, it was like a big thing of collagen that you mixed in with your coffee. And I, a lot of people I talk to, that's what they do. And, but they never thought about where it comes from. So it's the coxcomb of the chicken and its feet and, you know, and from beef, so there's two different versions. You can get the beef one or the chicken one. Um, which I find really super gross because in cartilage and fat, that's where animals have all their hormones. So for people that are working on avoiding um, cancer and things like that, it's not a great idea, you know, for affecting our hormones. And I noticed, and a few other people I knew said when the days they drank their co Costco collagen were days that they felt more angry, it affected their mood. And I wondered what that was about. Um, the reason I was taking it is because they just told me it was good for me. I was just, you know, I'm a good, I'm a good supplement taker, but it never really changed anything for me. When I started using doTERRA's marine collagen, and it has lots of other ingredients in there too that support your body. But within a month and a half, my neck pain was gone. And I spent thousands of dollars, thousands. And my quality of life was lower. Cause I was living in pain still. Um, and then a month and a half of doTERRA's meta power collagen and I had no more pain. So it's my favorite product. It's my number one thing I recommend to people. Cause I, I work in a hands-on capacity with people in pain and I make sure that my clients are on this stuff. So it's the main thing that people are using it for is for, um, their blood sugar. So doTERRA has been studying all kinds of ailments that are connected to blood sugar. And it's a lifetime of your blood sugar going up and down and up and down. And you don't have to have any kind of diabetic diagnosis for this to be happening. You can, you can recognize it for when you've been very forgetful. That's when you know that you've been affected by blood sugar, when you've been hangry, when you didn't sleep well, when you didn't sleep well, that meant your blood sugar was on a roller coaster. And now what they're calling Alzheimer is Alzheimer's and dementia is type three diabetes. So if we want to prevent this happening in our lives, then we need to have balanced blood sugar. So for me, that's good enough reasons. Um, the okay. anti 
inflammatory part of it is the most important, but knowing that, um, you know, that I'm not going to lose my mind, <laughs> that is helpful as well. A lot of people take it for weight loss. I don't need to lose weight, but having been on it, I lost six pounds in, I don't know, a month, I guess a couple of months. So that was, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> but a lot of people lose a lot more depending on what's going on and, you know, their other, if they're working on that. Do you guys have questions about this? Um. So these are one of the, this is the main thing. I make sure that I drink this. I just pour the little sachet into a water bottle and I shake it up. Um, I've been trying to stay away from sugar while I'm pregnant. I haven't been hundred percent successful, but since I upped using the MetaPower soft gels, it's the, it's the oil that comes in little soft gels. So I'm taking two in the morning and two at night. And now I don't want anything to do with sugar. So if that's something you're dealing with, then, um, then do that. I just don't want my baby to be born with sugar addict. <laughs> so Pretty you much. do the soft gels and you do the powder together? Yeah. Both of them? Mm -hmm. Same time, like at the same time? Yeah, because I, if I spread it out, I won't remember to do it. Okay. And do you do it once a day? I do the soft gels in the morning and at night. Okay. And I take the Meta Power in the morning now. I was taking it at night, but now I'm trying to be careful about drinking too much because of waking up to pee too many times. Thanks. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and then I want to tell you about Shinrin Yoku. Do you guys have this one? Terry, do you have Shinra and Yoku? Never heard of it. Oh, this is one of the new ones they came out with in um, convention. So they, they did a study. They It helps you sleep. So you can also be using this in your diffuser at night. And they did a study. So they were taking everybody's blood, blood pressure, blood, you know, they're taking their blood and having them pee in a cup. Um, I don't know exactly the duration, how long they had them doing that. But they also, their inflammation markers went down, um, their stress hormones went down, their inflammation markers and their liver went down, and it makes, it balances your blood sugar, blood pressure by 59%. Like it made this huge difference for people. So in Japan, you know how like that's where all the video games came from, and then they had like this huge influx of um, gamers in Japan and um, people who are developing games and computer stuff there. So they ended up with this really high suicide rate in the 80s. And so it was it became a national practice called Shinrin-yoku, which is forest bathing. It was the country of Japan was trying to get people away from their computer so that they would stop killing themselves <laughs> and get back in the woods. So when you're out walking around in nature, the trees naturally release these pheromones. They're like blowing you kisses. And when you breathe in those pheromones, it lowers your blood pressure and helps you relax and lowers the cortisol levels. And that's why you feel like so free and have so much clarity and stress relief when you go out in the woods. So the Japanese scientists and uh, with with DoTerra, they figured out which pheromones the trees were releasing, and they bottled it. <laughs> so these are the kisses the trees were blowing you, and so I've been using it a lot. I diffuse it in my diffuser in the house. It smells so good. It's woodsy and citrusy. Um, let me see. I'll tell you what's in it. I think it says say it oh right here hinoki that's a wood that's in japan lemon patchouli magnolia siberian fir cypress cardamom geranium grapefruit and lavender which is a cousin of lavender so this perfect blend i've just been rolling it there's a roller there's a 15 mil really nice to have around 
for stress relief, especially if you spend a lot of time indoors or in front of a computer. Any questions or comments about Shinrin Yoku? Uh -uh. It's probably one of my favorite oils. I use it every day. Well, I, I agree. It's so good. I've never heard of it. Let me find it in my little book because it tells you what it's for in the Essential Emotions book. Hold on. Okay. Did you find it? Because I got mm -hmm. mine here if you if you want. Oh, I I'll find it. Hold on. There it is. It's immersion. Boris give freely of all they possess to anyone who enters. They generously invite all to relax into their incredible stillness and simply be. Shinrin Yoku is a unique essential oil blend that captures the essence of the forest so individuals can connect with it wherever they are. This blend beckons all to come to the forest to feel its healing embrace, allow it to lift their mood in the present moment and ground back into themselves. It encourages individuals to reconnect with the reverence, awe, and peacefulness that can be felt so abundantly in nature. Um, I would totally be giving this to, like, I'm going to put it in my older son's stocking because it's it's a very masculine, yummy smell. And I don't want him to use, like, nasty, toxic, like, what's it called? Not perfume. Cologne. Um, cologne. You know, cologne. That, cologne is so yucky and toxic. But this, like, years ago, 13 years ago, when I introduced my husband to essential oils, he makes his own, but he he's, he adds the Shinrin Yoku into his cologne now. So I think the rest of what he puts is grapefruit, copaiba, cedarwood, um, sandalwood. So he makes his a little bit more woodsy, but it would be a really great gift to give, like, a, a male relative especially if you've been trying to switch them away from toxic stuff. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I have to share. Um, so I'll hand it back to Holly. Will you be able to send us this information? Yeah, I can. Good. Great. I'm happy to spend a little bit of time with you guys. It's always nice to see your faces. All right. So. Harry, put your, if you want this me to email it to you, put, put it in the chat and then I'll copy it right now. Oh, I can't see the. Can I see the chat? You should be able to. No, Holly can. Oh, it's in the more chat. Tap your screen. There it is. Okay. All right. I found it. Gmail. Okay, I'll send that over, Terry. And I'll send it to you, um, Holly. Thank you. All right. So does anybody else have any questions? This is a good class. Every time I I haven't been faithful to any of this 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 stuff right here. And um I'm getting back on the boat. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting uh I've I'm getting back off off the ground and onto the wagon. So um I'm going to be ordering a bunch of this stuff because I got to get, I've got to get this stuff going again. <laughs> so I'm excited about it. This was a good refresher, a real good refresher. I don't really have problems with the probiotics. I, I, I'll take it anyway. I want to see if there is a change. I've always been told by my functional medicine doctor, I have a, 
she says, you, you were born with an iron gut. I don't, I never knew what that meant, but as now that I'm doing a lot of functional mess, I understand that I have a help, a really healthy gut. And I feel really fortunate, really blessed about that. And, um, so, but I still want to try and see, see if I see any difference. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's really important, especially with us living in where we live with geographically, we're exposed to so many chemicals and they affect, they affect <laughs> our good gut biome, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. certainly couldn't, couldn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, if there are no more questions, we're going to bring this to a close. So if you are watching this on replay, please reach out to the person who sent you to watch the video. If you don't have anybody to work with you, or if it was me, you can email me at holly at holly's holistic health dot net. Have a good evening. Recording. Bye. Bye. You guys have a good night. Feel better, Donna. Thank you. You too. Yeah, Bye. Thanks. Bye. <clears throat>